Hello, this is Dr. Raj Singh from Las Vegas. I practice here at Healer and Seven Heart Medical. Today's video is about excessive sweating or called hyperhidrosis. It can be primary, it can be secondary. We all produce sweat as a way of regulating our body temperature. However, sometimes excessive amount of sweat is produced independent of the body temperature. At this point, it becomes very uncomfortable, very unpleasant for the individual. People are often embarrassed because they're under arm, they're all sweaty. Now, it's common medical condition. Up to 5% of the population may actually suffer from this condition called hyperhidrosis. Now, in order to diagnose hyperhidrosis, we need to have a certain medical criteria. Generally, it starts before the age of 25. There will be visible sweating for at least six months. You can see it under the clothes. These individuals sweat a lot. The sweating is bilateral, so it will be under both armpits, in the palms, soles of the feet. What causes this? We have sweat glands throughout our body. They have a body temperature, they remove excessive amount of electrolytes or fluids. These glands are linked to our sympathetic nervous system. Although the sweat glands are normal in number and size, they're just overly sensitive to signals from the brain and produce excessive amounts of sweat. Now certain medications are also linked to producing excessive amounts of sweat. Certain antidepressants like bupropion, anti-diabetic medications, estrogen blockers like anestrozole, tamoxifen. So if you suffer from excessive amount of sweating, it might not be a bad idea to discuss with your doctor and maybe sometimes modification in some of these medications may help improve your symptoms. Let's talk treatments. So if it's mild to moderate, all you need to do is prescription antiperspirants. There is Drysol, there is Xerac, they have aluminum in them. So now they're available by prescription only. You might find similar alternatives or same names on Amazon or other websites, but they're always counterfeit and not effective. So always get a prescription from your pharmacy. There's a new medication called Cubrexa. It's a topical, it's a, it comes in a wet towel, so you just wipe under the armpits or the palms just once a day. And this blocks the neurotransmitters, the signaling molecules to the sweat glands. And so the glands will not produce any more sweat. If the other two options are not working. The next would be to use a neurotoxin such as Botox or Zeomin or Dysport. About 50 doses of Zeomin or Botox in each armpit. 10 to 20 injection about one centimeter apart is typically what we do. Response is seen in about two weeks. Let's watch a video of me uh, doing this simple procedure so you get more ideas. So today our client has issues with uh, excessive sweating of his arms. This is actually a very common medical condition. Botox or Zeomin or similar neurotoxins are very effective treatments. We inject typically about 50 units intradermally under each armpit. They're a painless procedure and the effects typically will last for about eight to eight to 10 months. The other option would be microwave thermolysis or Mira Dry. So here the heat is used to destroy the sweat glands. Typically about two to three sessions are required. It's quite effective. Next option would be iontophoresis. It's also very effective for hyperhidrosis. You can use this for palms and the soles of the feet. So patient will sit with both hands or both feet immersed in shallow trays filled with water for about 15 to 30 minutes. Depends on what device you use. And the device is sending a small electrical signal. So here you can see in this picture uh, what this looks like. There are certain oral medications also that can be used to reduce the amount of sweating there is a glycoparolate, there is oxybutynin. They have quite a few significant side effects. So generally not recommended for treatment of hyperhidrosis, but we have so many other safer therapies are available. In summary, hyperhidrosis is quite common. Many effective treatments are available. I would recommend scheduling a visit to see a doctor to discuss these different options. So that's it for today. I hope you like the content of this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. This is uh, Dr. Raj Singh from Las Vegas. Take care.